The shortest straw has been pulled for you. Stick around. Welcome back. Season four, episode five, The Shortest Straw. I remember I had Injustice for All on cassette as a kid, and at the end of one, you had to turn a tape over, and the start of side two was The Shortest Straw, and it had the best guitar solo. Let's get started. The main event. Written by James Hetfield and Lars Ulrich, The Shortest Straw is the fifth song on Metallica's fourth album, Injustice for All, and it's one of the few songs on the album where you can actually hear Jason Newstead's bass. This thing here was started today, and it's finished today. And man, it, it gave me some trouble, but uh, it was, uh, well, let's just check it out. Now, it had the same issue as one, whereas every time the song stopped, YouTube compression did something funky to uh, the spacing. Uh, and unlike one, where everything just shrunk, this thing expanded in places too. Um, it reminded me of the rocking of a boat in many ways. But right here, all these little splits, they all happen uh, during silent spots in the song. And uh, whenever his bass is growling, it lines up perfectly. The minute he stops, it goes to hell in a handbasket. But basically, uh, it's done, and uh, I automated it a little bit. Let's get into that next. Now, as far as automation goes, if you've seen some of my other episodes, you know that this is not too heavily automated for me. Uh, I automated basically just the octaves that he threw in there, the randoms uh, and the riffs and choruses that you can't really quite hear if the song is loud. Um, and you don't want the bass to be too loud, so if just those octaves are boosted a little bit, you can keep the bass at a comfortable level where it doesn't dominate the drums and blah, blah, blah. But I did bring some of them up. I also brought up whenever he was playing by himself, uh, whole sections where he's just playing the main riff and uh, James is playing the chords. And tried to keep it all at a good level. So let's travel back in time to 1988. As you see, I turned Jason Newstead's bass off. This is what the James riff sounds like. This is what the riff sounds like with Jason. It's faint, but it's in there. Together, it sounds like this. Now, what Jason really played there is this. Which I think is a brilliant way to counter the riff and remain relevant in the song. Let's take a look at the verse riff real quick. If you hear that pattern, da 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 that's the main recurring riff for the verse riff. Da 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 Why that's relevant, I'm gonna show you now. Because later on in the song, in the solo sections and the melody sections, when Jason's by himself and James is playing whole note fifth chords, Jason defaults to this. When left to play whatever the heck he wants while James is playing whole note chords, he goes to James's default pattern, bringing the whole song together. But we never got that because they turned him down. If you're familiar with the shortest straw in my channel, then you already know where this is going. If you're not familiar with the song, I'm about to release a re remastered version of it with more bass. Check it out when you get to the guitar solo, it's magnificent. So without further ado, it is my belief that the guitar solo of the album for Injustice for All should go to the shortest straw. When contrasted with the Cliff Burton bass tracks, the Jason Newstead bass tracks were nowhere near as hard to split and line up with the remaster because Jason was so well compressed. But all told, the shortest straw has a total of 29 splits across 6 minutes and 35 seconds, which equates to one split every 13.62 seconds. And now it's time once again for the in-album lifeline segment brought to you as always by fresh produce, no not the brand, the concept, eat your fruits and veggies. In this segment I always ask the question what I trade. Well there's five bass tracks for the nine songs on Injustice For All, and the shortest straw is probably the only one that I would trade, and the only song that I would trade it for is the Freight Ends of Sanity. So the verdict is yes, I would trade the shortest straw's bass track to get one for the Freight Ends of Sanity. Now that's going to do it for this week. The re remastered version of The Shortest Straw is out now. Look for the demastered and based on the videos in the coming week. And the next time I see you, we'll be talking about Harvester of Sorrow. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. This is the Metallica re remastered series. Stay tuned for more.
this week. And I'm getting you suck. That's gonna do it for this week. Look for the D <laughs> That's gonna do it for this week. Look for the Demastered and Base Only videos for the shortest straw coming soon. And the next time I see you, we'll be talking about my bloopers. That's gonna do it for this week. Uh, uh, <laughs> idiot.